Hi Soul Family, this is Latanya with Saji Soul. Thank you so much for tuning in to your reading. Uh, this reading will be camp for Cancers. <laughs> uh, I did start with Libra the other day because it's Libra season, but before I get started, let me say thank you. To all of my old subscribers, I really appreciate you. Uh, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Soul Family, thank you for subscribing, shares, uh, comments, emails, likes, dislikes, it's all energy. Uh, Soul Family, I appreciate you uh, leaving your comments. I appreciate you sharing your personal stories. Uh, because, of course, it helps to heal others, others who are going through the same situations, similar situations, and those who have yet to come up behind that energy. All right, so I'm just switching it up a little bit, uh, Cancer. I usually do the horoscope uh, kind of like the first week or so of the month. I'm going to do that a few weeks later. Just a few things I want to share with uh, Soul Family, the collective. Uh, as far as noticing, I don't know. Uh, for my American subscribers, uh, some of the shelves have been empty depending on which, you know, stores or grocery stores you're going to. Uh, there has been uh, an increase in prices. Uh, the same thing that you spent a dollar for uh, maybe six, eight months ago. Now it is two, three dollars. The same product, the same items. Uh, so I just want to uh, bring your attention, so family, to, you know, being proactive. When you see, especially if you have children, if you see food items on sale, if you see canned vegetables for 50 cents, 75 cents, stock up on that. You know, buy five to seven cans every time you see that. If you see uh, pasta on sale at 50 cents a box, 75 a box, two for a dollar, stock up on that. Uh, and vice versa. Um, you know, whatever you think that you can eat, uh, if need be, if you need it to hunker down. And also water. When you see water on sale, whether it's uh, purified um Drinking water, spring water, when you see it for 25, 24 uh, to a case, 32 to a case, and it's $1.99 to $2.99, stock up on that, right? Those are some things or some staples that you need to have, especially um, how many members you have in your house. Just always being proactive now. Uh, never putting yourself in the same situation that you were last year. Uh, always being ready and always expecting the unexpected. So those are just a few things that I've noticed uh, here as a uh, living in America as an American citizen, uh, the lack and the things that are starting to go empty on the shelf. So just being prepared. Another thing is here in America, seller's market. Uh, you bought a home 10 years, 15 years ago. Within 10 to 15 years, those home values have already doubled. Uh, it's almost like inflation. Things are happening. We're printing lots of money into the economy and pouring trillions of dollars into the economy and things are raising. Right? Prices are raising on food and non-food non items. Housing values are raising. So this is a seller's market. If you have a home and you're underwater, under your mortgage, under credit card debt, just stressed, this is the time to take advantage of that home value, right? Getting out from under that, selling off that mortgage, um, paying off that debt, whatever that debt is, and putting that money into CDs or IRAs or you know doing your research on that and hunkering down. Uh, before that the market flatlines right before the prices and the home values drop back down this is the opportunity uh, to get ahead of the game right uh, just so just a few things so family I hope that you are being proactive with and you're looking at the market uh, and you're figuring out what's going on homes uh, going on the market within 24 hours to a couple weeks they already have a contract on them they're already being sold so Again, if you are a homeowner, just some things to think about. Where would you go? What would you do with the extra money? Can you set up a trust fund for your children so they'll be ready for college? Can you start saving for your uh, retirement if you haven't started that already? Anyway, this tarot reading won't resonate with everyone. Maybe 5%, 1%, 1% one or two people, whoever is meant to hear it the most. Uh, continue to check your moon sign. Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, everything in your natal birth chart that make up who you are. Um, I think that's it. Cancer, I've already set my intentions. I've already set my prayer off camera. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys on down. Let's go ahead and get into your pre-shuffle. I hope you're having a good weekend. Hope you're staying focused on your goals, focused on your breath, focused on meditation, focused on yoga, exercise, hiking, walking, biking, swimming, surfing, diving, <laughs> kayaking. <laughs> okay, so when I split the deck, Cancer, we have the Three of Cups. And we have the Five of Swords. Hmm. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but there is a third party situation. We had three people in the card to the left, three people in the card to the right. 
And these two fellas here are engaged in a fight, and this third person has their back towards them. So she really doesn't even care about the situation or them. Hmm. Understanding. Somebody really worth fighting for if they don't respect you, if they put you into a third party situation, if they are dishonest, manipulative, full of drama and chaos, full of secrets. Let's cut the deck. Let's see what we get here. Answer your focus. We have two cards sticking out here. I do have the Emperor. I'm going to take them. We have the Nine of Coins, and the Emperor was sticking out here. Oh, that's the King of Swords. We're definitely going to take them. Hmm. Okay. We also have, oh, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. All right, Cancer, we have a pair here. <laughs> Yeah, we have we have a pair here, and we oh we also have the emperor, major arcana in the upright. Interesting. We're gonna move those down here. We also have that three of cups is back in the reverse. We also have the nine of cups in the reverse. We also have the magician, major arcana in the upright. All right. This is not going to resonate with everyone. To those of you who are in third-party situations, we do have a king of swords, a queen of swords, and the emperor. And the magician is here. <laughs> Cancer, your focus is the nine of coins. <sighs> this is being balanced, mentally stable, foundation. As you can see, this home is stable behind this person. Grapes as a luxury, comfort, and the owl of wisdom, guidance. And for some of you, you're looking good while you do this, right? Even if you are in pain, even if you are suffering, this person doesn't show it to the outside world. You also have the King of Swords in the upright. Now, the King of Swords, this is someone who is usually standing firm with their truth and their clarity. For some of you, you may find out that this King of Swords had a baby here. Whether this is a baby that you had cancer or you had with this person, or this person had with a third party. We do have the third party card here. Hmm. We also have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. In the upright, the Queen of Swords is, of course, firm and stable in her convictions Stands in our truth and power, but in the reverse, well, the Queen of Swords is not tolerating any third parties, any lies and betrayals, any children outside of their marriage or long-term relationship. Yeah, I could see that being over. And you also have the Emperor, Major Khan in the upright. The Emperor, the Empress combine all the kings, all the queens. They are stable, divinely guided. And sometimes emperors and empresses, they like their cake and eat it too. They like to be in control of situations, people, places, and things. And you also have the Three of Cups in the reverse. In the upright, the Three of Cups is harmonious get-togethers, hmm, parties, social outings, third-party situations, third-party situations behind closed doors, <laughs> engagement, marriages, celebrations, of course. And in the reverse... This is sometime an overindulgence in third party situations. Whether it's drugs, sex, alcohol, situationships, and you also have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. In the upright, this Knight of Cups, as you can see, he's almost drowning in his emotions and thoughts, thinking about love, thinking about imitations, thinking about which way to go. And in the reverse, Sometimes it's making a decision or sometimes it's just absolutely having to get up, give up because someone stays stuck and stagnant in their emotions and their thoughts. And you also have the magician, Major Khan in the upright. 
You know, with the magician, this person has all the tricks, all the trades, all the tools, all the knowledge, all the expertise to manifest any and everything they want. In the upright, this is usually someone who manifests things for a greater good. And they're in control of their emotions and their manifestations. Hmm. Cancer on the board, we have coins. I think that's the only coin, pentacles. Uh, earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, we also have cups. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, we also have swords. Air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, we also have the Magician, Major Arcana, Gemini, and we also have the Emperor, Major Arcana, Aries. Okay. Well, I don't see any wands here, so... There's no fire, no initiation, no passion, no action. And it's possibly because there's a couple here who are represents the king and queen of swords. <laughs> Unfortunately, the king and queen of swords are not usually very passionate, very loving, right? These are couples who have gone through good times, bad times, good relationships, bad relationships, good marriages and bad marriages. I'm gathering with the Queen of Swords being in the reverse. There is something that has come to light. Cancer, either you are this Queen of Swords or you are this King of Swords. It doesn't matter which one you are because both of you are abundant. Both of you have a foundation, whether it's with this king or queen or whether it's by yourself. And if not, you're able to start over again because I don't see aces or two of pentacles or three of pentacles. I see the nine of pentacles. And even if the queen of swords or the king of swords are ever in the reverse, that's because they no longer tolerate the nonsense the disrespect, the manipulation, the lies, the deception. They understand that it's important to have boundaries in life. There is a emperor here. 